unboxing. Basically, we've had the same Christmas decorations for like five years and nothing wrong with them, but you know, after five years of use, like they kind of break, your style changes. Well, at the end of last year, I was like, next year for the holidays, I am going to buy new decorations and I'm gonna like change the vibe. They're here. Well, some of them are. What I was trying to go for was something that was like a little bit more neutral. So Alex is allergic to pine um, and I would prefer to just have like real garlands and stuff in here, but it's kind of hard because of his allergy. We don't usually have um, pillows on our couch, but I thought it felt really cozy to have some pillows and like some like fun like ah! And then I got us this cute little thing for our bed. Well, I'm looking at this now. The cats are gonna destroy this, that sucks. Uh, but I got this to go at the edge of our bed. And then the reason why everything's so neutral is because I did faux, what is it, pompous grass, which is kind of, it's a, kind of like a like taupey color. I got some ornaments, these like big glass ones. They're so pretty. I don't actually know if I'm gonna put them on the tree or if I'm just gonna put them in a big bowl to be like a centerpiece. Cause my fear with the tree is that Simba is gonna f it up. Oh my gosh. They're so pretty. And I like that they're like a bigger bulb, but I was trying to find like shatterproof ones and it was really hard for me to find them in colors that I liked. I got these like onyx Christmas trees. Okay, so like here's one, look at that. If I'm being honest, it kind of just looks like styrofoam, but I'm hoping that the others will, you know, improve the experience. This one's like a little, has a little bit more color in it. Oh, this one's broken. I'm sad. Okay, it's clogged, so. Oh damn, you guys, this is kind of a mess. Oh, I got some mini lights. I really like these because the bulbs are like such a fun shape. I don't know if you can make that out, but they're like just these little tiny guys. They almost look like they're like eyeballs. Oh, this isn't a Christmas decoration. This I just bought as a gift for myself. I got a marble Mancala board. Isn't that so cool? I'm so excited. I used to play this as a kid all the time and the the beans are these little, um, these little things. Amazing! I love um, decorating, so I'm just, I'm just excited to be here. Another unboxing. I am gonna demystify something really quick about like press packages or when um, brands like send you things. Sometimes it is gen it is truly, truly a surprise, and other times they literally will like text your email and be like, "Hey, we're sending out something for like." League of Legends, do you want this? And then you say yes or no. Uh, which I actually think is really nice because then you're not being sent things that like maybe you aren't super jazzed about and then you know, you have to like donate it or it gets, you know, wasted on somebody when it could be sent to somebody who like enjoys it more. Sorry if that like ruined the mystique of the Instagram stories. They're like, oh my gosh, I get sent this, who knew? But a lot of times you don't know what's in it. So um, this is from when we went to the Hella Mega Tour. We got tickets through like a charity auction and it came with merch. So I guess we can see what that merch is. Bottle openers, it says bottoms up. Clear bags, very nice of them. Commemorative tickets. An epic night of rock. Then it's a poster with this big boy though. I'm very excited about because now I really know what it is. Ooh. I'm sweating. I'm in so much distress. I just want to know what's in you. So thank you League of Legends and MasterCard for sending this. Cool, cute. And it's a Jinx one. Jinx is my main. She's the only character I can play. That's not true. I can play a few others, but she's my favorite character to play. Oh my gosh, look at this mouse pad. It's so big. I could straight up wear this as a dress. Like it's longer than my shorts right now. 
World is 2021 and it has like a bunch of cutie details. There's a poster. Honestly, the World merch is always the best. Cute. Thank you. Cute. I'm so cute and so is this merch. This week has been weird. It's been a weird week, uh, but you know, it's been good too. I think it can be weird and good. My therapist and I, <laughs> I feel like these vlogs are kind of just me recounting what I learned in therapy. <laughs> But I guess that means it's working, right? Um, my therapist and I were kind of talking about how I tend to say like, yeah, but X, Y, Z. My week w was interesting, but good. Which I feel like in my brain is like interesting, but good. Where you could say it's interesting and good, and then it's like a nice upward trajectory. I don't know. I think words matter, and I'm really bad at prioritizing and saying things that make me feel good. Anyways, this week was really fun. I got to do a few really cool things. I think that for me, I have really been prioritizing being social and like my social life. Growing up, I was a really busy kid and like I was just very involved in things and I loved it and it was a lot of fun. But I would say, and while I did like hang out with friends sometimes, I would say that that was like the bottom of my priority list. I would say that was true all the way up and through college, all the way through IGN and leaving IGN, a huge focus for me is like figuring out like who I am, who am I outside of like accomplishments. Um, because I think I'm a really goal-oriented person and you know through high school It's like get good grades be really involved so you can get into a good college and then in college. It's like oh Get really involved and like do all of these things and do really well in your major so that you can apply to like my case it was like medical school and dental school and then like get a good job and through that I was streaming and just kind of like doing all of this stuff and While I did hang out with friends occasionally. I wasn't very social. Oops. I don't know, at the time it served me, but the older that I'm getting, like the more that I'm realizing it's all about memories and relationships. And this week I feel like was a really big wake up call for myself that I have been prioritizing that. And it's always cool when you keep your promises to yourself, so. I think what's really exciting is like doing things that you never thought you'd do. And I have shot with Cloak before, it's an apparel brand. I have like a few stuff by them. I have that big cloak that I wear sometimes on stream. Um, it's literally a cloak. But anyways, they asked me to come shoot some e-commerce for them. Um, so that was really fun. It was also the same day as the Call of Duty premiere. There's a new Call of Duty out by the time you see this. Probably been out for a while, but New Call of Duty out, Vanguard came out, and um, Alex and I went to the premiere. We got to walk the red carpet. That was not because I'm cool, it's because Alex is cool. I mean, I guess I can brag about him. He doesn't brag about himself, but I'll brag about him. He's the GM and does some other stuff for the parent company, but he's the GM of the uh, Los Angeles Gorillas. So he got to red walk the red carpet, and I was his date. It was really nice to see friends and just like be social and see people that I haven't seen in a really long time and like be in that environment. I think that was like the first gaming press, gaming whatever event that I've gone to that isn't a shoot. Um, and yeah, it was really nice. And then we went and saw our friend Laz's performance. He performed at Hotel Cafe. <laughs> and uh, he's so talented. And more than that, I think it's just cool to see people doing cool things and doing things that they tell themselves that they're gonna do. Uh, Laz, he shared it on his Instagram, but he wrote down that he wanted to play a show at Hotel Cafe and then like he went and did it. And I think that's, I don't know, it's really inspiring, especially as I'm in this kind of period of not, uncertainty is not the right word. I think I tell myself I'm uncertain, but I actually really know what I want 
and it's been this weird thing of like reconciling with me to not judge myself. I was talking to Lisa, my therapist, and was saying that it was like, okay, I feel really lost. I feel really like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know where I'm headed. And then we spent some time talking about it and I like articulated very clearly what I wanted and my goals and where I'm headed. And what I came out of it was this idea of like affirmation of, I know what I'm doing and I need to believe that I know what I'm doing. And I felt like going to Laz's performance and cheering on a friend was like a really cool, like real life reminder that people are doing that and it's really inspiring. It's a short one this week, but I'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye.